Hello guys! Welcome in this uncertain time when most of the people are starting to work remotely and it's actually a great time to think about what we would like to learn and learn online. And in this episode I wanted to review the top 10 courses on Coursera right now. Uh, what are the top most popular courses you can have online? Uh, because if you have more time right now, uh, if you're at home working or uh, just thinking about what you can learn, how you can hone up your skills and become better at doing something, then it's perfect time to actually look at Coursera, which offers free courses if you don't need a certificate, uh, because uh, mostly certificate is paid, but the courses itself are for free and there is really great, great content online. So I put together an article on Medium, which will, I will link below this uh, YouTube video. And here I will go quickly through the, uh, through the whole thing. There are basically uh, 10 courses and most of them are in data science, which is not surprising because uh, Coursera was actually founded by Andrew Eng, uh, who's a professor of, um, uh, at co of computer science at uh, Stanford University. And he's very well known for uh, his work on artificial intelligence and his work on and his courses, both on Coursera um, and generally at Stanford, uh, machine learning course is his course, which is the, the probably the most well known. And lately, uh, he's also on the list uh, by running Deep Learning AI. Uh, but let's go from uh, the number one. So number one right now is Google IT Automation with Python. And that's a general uh, certificate kind uh, for being an IT guy doing administrative tasks. Uh, it's probably the easiest to enter it. Uh, the second one is the science of well-being by Yale, uh, which is not about data science. It's a general course for anyone. Uh, then at number three, we have IBM data science course. That's a perfect course for uh, entering into data science if you have no background and you want a certificate from a well-known organization. That, that's the way to go. Then at number four, we have machine learning by, uh, by Stanford. And this is exactly the course by Andrew Eng, uh, which I mentioned who co-founded Coursera. Uh, and this is a great course about machine learning. So if you're thinking about doing something uh, on machine learning, this is the place to go. Uh, it is mostly for beginners, though it's more theoretical, meaning that you will have uh, more mathematical aspects of machine learning inside. So just keep that in mind. Uh, then we have a course by University of Michigan, Python for Everybody. This is a general started, starter for anyone interested in Python, not necessarily in that data science or machine learning, just if you want to code, if you want to find your way into coding, that's the, uh, that's the way to go. Uh, then we have a Google IT support, uh, which is another uh, course by Google uh, and for more for IT administrators, uh, also certified by Google. So a great way to enter the career into the IT. Uh, if you are more on the computer science side, more programming than data science. Uh, then number seven, we have Deep Learning by Deep Learning AI. Deep Learning AI is again an initiative by Andrew Eng, and this is his course. Uh, and it's a great course after you take machine learning. Uh, so, so that's a natural, natural continuation. Then number eight is Data Science by Johns Hopkins University. Uh, another entry level uh, course, entry level specialization for learning data science. Uh, and I think the difference is that I think this one might be uh, in R, uh, if I remember correctly. So the IBM data science in, is in Python and this one is in R. Uh, then there are two courses which are not related to data science. Number nine is Fundamentals of Engineering Exam Review by Georgia Tech. Uh, so this is some kind of exam in engineering as far as I, I understand. Uh, I'm not uh, accustomed to that, so have really no comment about it, but it seems popular. Uh, for some reason. And the last one is uh, run by University of Ponce, Pennsylvania with collaboration, in a collaboration with uh, UNICEF. Uh, and it's a course about social norms, social change, uh, one of the two or three, if I remember correctly, and it's more general course as well. So those are the 10 courses here. Uh, if you will go into the article, then you can read all the descriptions of the courses or go directly to the uh, courses mentioned. Uh, I, I gave all the links and all the basic materials about all those courses. Uh, the data is coming from Coursera. Those are really the most uh, popular courses uh, on Coursera right now, which were sold up to this point in 2020. 
so again, if you have spare time, if you want to learn something, if you want to get a certificate, uh, this is probably a good way to go. Um, I really rec recommend that learning online, learning at your own pace and then repeating everything is um, a great way to hone your skills. Um, and already have someone to look at your exercise is also great because many of those courses are coming with people who will be able to uh, check your exercises, ch check your Jupyter notebooks and ha have some comments about it or at least you will get to a forum where uh, someone will comment what you're doing right or wrong. So thank you for listening, have a look at those courses and see you in the next episode.